Welcome along to our third tutorial where we are learning how to transition from block-based coding in Scratch over to text-based coding using Python. What we're going to be doing in this video is learning how to draw a pentagon first of all in Scratch and then over in Python. Okay, so to get started in Scratch, we're going to go over to our events and bring out the block that says when the green flag is clicked. We then need to go to our pen uh, tab here. If you don't have that pen extension tab up, you can just go to the blue button at the bottom to add in an extension. Make sure you choose pen and you will get these blocks of code. Um, first thing we want to do is we want to erase all. So when we start our program, we want to make sure that this stage over here or this canvas is wiped clean. So that's what the erase all block will do. We'll then go to motion and choose the point in direction 90 degrees, which is just pointing our cat or our pen to the right hand side of the page. Back in the pen tab, we are then going to set up the pen color. Choose whatever color you like. I always say this, uh, you've got a whole heap of different colors there to pick from. I'm going with black. That's the basic setup. So we are now ready to start drawing our pentagon. So let's go back to events and bring out when the green flag is clicked. First thing we're going to do is lift our pen up off the page. Okay, remember our cat over here is our pen at the moment. And when we start the program, he's pushed down on the page. So if we were to move him anywhere on the page, a black line would follow him. But by lifting our pen up, first of all, that stops or prevents that black line from following our cat. So we can now go to motion and choose the starting coordinates for our cat. And in this case, I'm going to do minus 150 and 100, oh, minus 100 for the Y value. All right. Once we are in position, back to the pen tab and put your pen down on the page ready for drawing. Now our pentagon today is going to be 75 steps on each side. Okay, so... I'll just resize this cat first to 30% in the properties here, so he's nice and small. That way we can see our shape being drawn. And in motion, we are simply going to move 75 steps. If we start our program, let's have a look. This is the start of our pentagon. That's the base of our pentagon. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to turn left. Now, to work out the number of degrees we need to turn in a pentagon, we know a pentagon has five sides, so all you need to do is 360 divided by five. And that will leave you with the number 72. So we're gonna turn, whoops, sorry, turn left, 72 degrees, and we're gonna move 75 steps. And that should have us turn in the right direction to draw the next part of our pentagon. And it's just a matter of repeating that five times. Okay, so it could be a bit of a copy and paste job or a duplicate job here. I know that's looking a bit funny over there at the moment, but hopefully this will work. There we have it. So we have our pentagon looking good. The only issue I've got is my cat's facing down at the moment. I just want to turn him 72 degrees there at the end as well. So he's back facing towards the right. Okay, like we've done in previous videos, we're going to be drawing a second pentagon over here shortly. But that there is the code to draw yourself a pentagon. We move 75 steps across and we turn at 72 degree angles to get that pentagon looking perfect. You might have noticed when we did the triangle that we were turning at 120 degrees. Okay, that was simply 360 divided by the number of sides in a triangle, which is 3. You get 120 degrees. When we drew our square, we had four sides, so 360 divided by four gave us 90 degree turns. Pentagon, 72 degree turns. It was just 360 divided by five. If we were doing a hexagon, for example, all you'd have to do is do 360 divided by six and you get 60 degree turns. So it's quite easy to work out the number of degrees that you need to turn simply by going 360 divided by the number of sides the shape has. Okay, so that's our pentagon, all drawn up in scratch. Let's head over to Mu and code it up. That's not too hard. First line of code is from turtle import star. You should know that one by now. So from the turtle module, which is just a library of code written by some other smart person, we're going to import all of it. So import all of that code that was written by somebody else 
into our program and then we can use it to draw things on the screen. Okay, first thing we're going to do is lift our pen up off the page and go to our X and Y coordinates, which were, what were they? Minus 150 and minus 100. Okay, once in position, we put our pen down. We then move forward. We went forward 75. Let's just save that and test it to make sure we're off to a good start. So three, Pentagon is a good name for this one. Give it a run. We move to position and we get the base of our Pentagon drawn. Okay, good start. Next thing we did was turn left at 72 degrees and went forward again, 75. Stop it and start it. Things are looking good. So it's just a matter of repeating that. Oops. A few more times. Five times in total. And you should get your Pentagon done. So I'm going to copy and paste that. Okay. That should have four sides done. So I need to put in one more forward and left. Perfect. Okay, so there is our pentagon drawn using code. Okay, so make sure you've got that. Uh, when you are finished, we're going to jump back over to scratch and draw ourselves a bigger pentagon. Okay, and this time we're going to use a loop. As you saw, it was getting pretty tedious writing the same code here in the blue blocks over and over again. So instead of doing that, we use a loop to make the computer repeat that code for us. Save us the hassle of um, writing it over and over again. So after this first pentagon is drawn, under events, we're going to broadcast a message. It's going to be a new message that says, Pentagon finished. And we can then go up the top of our code here and bring out the one that says when I receive message one and change it to Pentagon finished. So once we receive the message that the first Pentagon is drawn, we're going to lift our pen up off the page and we're going to go to a new set of coordinates. Uh, where are the X and Ys? We're going to go to 25 and minus 100 for our coordinates. I think that will work. And back in our pen here, we'll do the pen down because we're ready to start drawing. And instead of writing all this blue code over and over again, we're just going to go to control here, tell the computer to repeat the code five times. And the code we want it to repeat is simply moving 150 steps and turning left at 72 degrees. Give that a run and you've got your pentagon drawn. So you can see the same thing basically drawn with a lot less code than what we originally came up with. Okay, so it's a lot easier using these loops. So get in the habit of using loops um, to simplify your code. It's going to get extra marks in your assignment as well. Heading over to Mu now, we might put in a comment up the top here that says smaller pentagon. And then down below that, make a bit of room. Put in a new comment that says bigger pentagon and let's put in the code to draw that bigger pentagon it's not too hard we lift the pen up off the page first and we go to that new set of coordinates which were 25 and minus 100. from there we put our pen down on the page and we created a loop okay that's what this orange block here is it's a Pete's loop in Scratch, we call it a for loop in Python. So we write for i in range. How many times are we going to repeat this code? Well, we know pentagons have five sides, so we'll repeat it five times. Okay, put the colon at the end, press enter. Remember your code becomes indented here, which means it's pushed across from the edge of the page. And what are we doing? We went 150 forward this time and left. 72. Okay, remember these two lines that have been pushed across or indented are the ones that are repeated five times. Okay, so hopefully that is going to draw our pentagon for us. There's the little one. There's the big one. Perfect. 
Remember at the bottom of your code, it's a good idea to hide the turtle. Cleans up the look of your page a bit. And at the top, if you wanted to, you could adjust the speed to zero, for example, to set it really fast. Okay. So that right there is how you draw yourself a pentagon using both Scratch and a bit of Python. Okay, in the next video, we're going to start to play around with the outline colors and sizes using um, Scratch and Python. Pretty simple one, actually, so I'll catch you in that video.